autism and anxiety. Oh yeah, and these guys. Welcome to the Happy Fat Cat Hour with Earl, the Happy Fat Cat. <laughs> Chancellor's Tomb. <laughs> Chancellor uh, Earl. Oh, where did it this? Yeah. Every joke I'm belongs stupid. to the fat cat. Yes, Mr. Re Mr. Precious. Yes. Soon we shall. Oh, get get you yet, cat. Uh, you little dog. Well, no, because it so has a... A cathedral. Maybe we haven't explored it in uh, Okay, there we go. That's better. Yeah. This is the catheter garden, where everyone has to use a tube there to pee. There we go. Leoric's Passage. I like how all of their O's are across the doors. Yeah, but the door. I think I already yeah. said that. Because we can't open the door before. Now we can. By the power of Grayskull, I have the power! Uh -huh. Let's sell toys! <laughs> I miss He-Man and their blatant fucking capitalist ways. I love He-Man. Better than to love it, but I did anyway. It was one of those, like, I know this is just to make kids happy. Mm. And I love it. Still preferred Thundercats, though. Something about uh, a magic I super cat. I love Thundercats, too. Yeah. I, I like them both equally when I was Yeah, because, I mean, they're the same shit. Just yeah. one with furries. Yeah. It's He-Man, but furry. And uh, the Cheetah Girl was hot. You mean Cheetah? Ra? Chitara. Yep, yeah. her name was Chitara. Yeah, she was hot. My favorite, still to this day, is Beast Wars. Oh I yeah, mean, Beast Wars is awesome. And that was like one of the, I think it was the first like cartoon that they did with like the 3D. No, that uh, goes to actually the same company. Uh, reboot. That goes to Reboot. Mm. The fucking thing where they're like, we don't know how to make 3D animation, let's make 3D animation. They made it and nobody liked it, but it was amazing. I actually went back and watched it not too long ago and it's still fucking great. That's another group of uh, animators who fucking hate the work they made. It's not those. They made a, one of the music videos of like, you know, one of those shit. I don't remember if it was like Creed or some shit, but you know, one of those like really bad 3D animated music videos. Mm. And so they had like a goof in one of their later animations where it's the characters from that music video and they shit all over them. <laughs> like they fucking ripped it open. I don't remember what the hell it was called. I'll have to look it up. But, uh, watching my, my favorite cartoonist, Mr. Pan Pizza, and he had a whole thing about like, you know, cartoon creators who hated their work. And the guy who did Ren and Stimpy was all over that fucking list. Really? Oh, he despised Ren and Stimpy. But he's one of those guys who's like, if it's not perfect, it's immediately terrible. Uh, he, yeah, like he's that much of a shithead. No, he's not a perfectionist. He's like one of those anal overload motherfuckers. Uh, like, perfectionist. If you could call it... That's underestimating how bad he is, really. But, I guess the term applies. Yeah. The chick who did Foster's Home hates... She's also the one who did the My Little Pony thing that everybody's obsessed with, too. <laughs> I learned that recently, and I was really? like... Really? I kind of have to watch My Little Pony just on principle. They made Foster's Home, and now I have to watch <laughs> that cartoon. That is sin, and I have to do it. I, I, I'm conflicted. My love of animation versus my hatred of tiny horses. <laughs> You have a hatred of tiny horses? I mean, except when they're delicious. Because horse meat is tasty. Okay. But magic horses probably don't taste good. Just gonna throw it out there. I don't think magic tastes good. I could be wrong! Yeah, I mean, people in RPGs, the hell forbid them, drink uh, magical potions all the time and they seem well, yeah, but fun. they never really have a reaction to taste. They're just kind of like, uh, it brought, it saved my life. Of course I'm going to like this. I don't like, know, some games, it actually does tell, like, how they taste. Like, they'll be like, you know, this bitter drink, yeah. you know, adventures carry all the time to, uh, you know, heal them or etc. That was actually one of my favorite things in, like, the Shadow Hearts games, because, like, they had a fucking compendium for everything. So, like, if you had, like, a heart, you know, like a healing potion or whatever, it would go from, like, the grassroots that it's made out of, and it'd be like, this medical plan is applied to women, you know, that kind of shit. So it's like, it's a small heal, but then they'll have it ground up into, like, potions, and it's like, this can only be done on certain nights, you know, shit, like, really fucking RPG shit. And it's like, I just like that attention to detail. That, that, that's, a game, that's a way to make me like a game, is when you go, like, really in-depth with shit like that.
Yeah, because I think The Witcher 3 does that with the potions. Yeah. Like, with their suffering. Yeah, they do that with everything. Their characters, they do that with their monsters, all that shit. And that's, Man, The Witcher 3 goes in detail. Yeah, like, that's a good way for me to praise the game. Because it's like, when you put enough attention to, like, design into it, that's a good, it's a good yeah, philosophy. Sure. Hi, kitty cat. Do you want to play with the other kitty cat and cause trouble? Damn, you mark them fools quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, in, I'm in a cathedral. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, when I saw a uh, caddy's thing, you know, the 25 days of, of you know, yeah, his games or whatever, and I saw The Witcher on there, I was like, man, I haven't played that in a while, yeah. like, I'm gonna play it, because, man, that game, like, I've spent probably, like, 50 hours on it, and maybe 10 of that That's another series that's, like, the third on game, story. yeah, the third game surprised me how much, like, I actually enjoy it more. Versus the other two, because you know me, I fucking uh, yeah, hated the first yeah, two Witchers. I remember. The three, I've actually played a bit of it, and I fucking love it. I mean, like, uh, Caddy actually summed it up pretty well, like, how the side quests don't feel like side quests. They feel like a part of the game. Yeah. Like, they're not just like, oh, I'm doing a side quest, this bullshit, which I told you this. I yeah. remember, like, the werewolf one was freaking awesome. Like, when I finished that, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. that was a side quest. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things is like, because oh, uh, I'll praise something like The Elder Scrolls up and down, but I can completely admit it has fucking flaws. Yeah, I know. Like, I was talking to some internet dumbass who doesn't know how to, you know, logic, and they were like, well, man, the fucking Elder Scrolls Skyrim's a 10 out of 10. I was like, no, the fuck it's not. That is a game that is like a giant pile of mess through and through. It's like... The main story is fun, the DLC is fun, everything else is fucking forgettable as shit. Like, half of the fucking towns are the goddamn same. If you go to, like, Darmstar and Falkreath, they're the fucking same, through and through. Mm. One has snow, one doesn't. You go in their fucking houses, they all look the goddamn same. Everything in there is fucking duplicated. And it's like, just, how can you accept this in a game? When something, the entire culture of this area is supposed to be 100% different than this area, yet they look the fucking same. That's... I know it's a bit of a nitpick, but at the same time, it's like, that's not a mark of a perfect game. Yeah, I would say, Completely. Yeah, no, yeah, it's an understandable nitpick. Yeah. And it's <clears> like, <throat> if you jump in a tomb full of Draugr, guess what you'll find? Draugr. You yeah, want to find yeah. something else in there? Nope. Too bad. Yeah, maybe some, like, spiders or something. And you'll find some spiders. You'll find, oh lordy, a dragon priest. Guess what that is? It's the fucking Draugr's, but it can fly! <laughs> yeah, I know, that's... I get it. It was their, like, I mean, they hadn't done an Elder Scrolls game since fucking Oblivion, and everyone either was obsessed with that game or fucking hated it. So they were trying something different. They kind of, they did good with their system. They just fucked up. They fucked up a lot. Magic especially, because magic sucked in that game. That's a shame for Rainbow Magic. When Sky? I fucking hate the magic in the game. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's, I mean, it was it's worse than every other Elder Scrolls game. Hands down. I've only played a little bit of a blade. So yeah, I, I trust me. Really it's, it is the weakest. It's like, I mean, I know that's once again like a preference thing, but if you're going to have something in it, like, make it work. Well, it, it works as well as I expect. It's about as rudimentary as it gets, though. It's like, it's a series where, like, magic is supposed to make you this omnipotent being, and yet here we are with fucking hand fire. And it's like, Yes. Yeah, but there's really cool ones. Like, you can summon, uh, I think there's one you can, yeah, you can, like, summon a dragon. You can summon, like, spiders and shit. I don't know what fucking game you're playing. Uh, yeah, there's a spell where you can summon spider. Like, you can summon a spider. Like, that must have been special edition, because that wasn't in the normal one. Mm, yeah, no, it's... I have game. everything in that because game. Because I... And there uh, ain't a damn spider. Because I did the cheat thing where I got all the spells. Yeah, that must be special edition, dude, because that's not in it, the main nigga, game. Nigga, this is before I owned it on Steam. Then that must have been one of those things they didn't release on, like, you know... It's, like, not something you can find in-game. It's one of those they cut out of the main content, because that's not something I came across, and I've 100%... Yeah, I actually think I saw it, like... On the skill tree, if I remember correctly. No, no, you didn't. I can fucking guarantee it right now. That is not a thing. Like, the only thing I can think is it's one of those deleted content things that, you know, is just still code in the game. When you did the fucking, what do you call it? The debug menu, it just opened it for you. 
Like, that's it. Because the closest thing to summoning, like, a spider or a dragon is something you can get in the DLC. And it's a zombie dragon. Well, I mean, that's probably what it was I got from the DLC. I just didn't have the DLC. There is no spider, though. That's not a thing. Yeah, I, I, I can I fucking guarantee you. Like, it's one of those things of playing on console, so you don't really know what you're missing. I've never looked too much into, like, you know, cut content and that kind of thing. It's just, you know, it's not in there. I don't care. Yeah, we have to stop the Dungeons and Dragon players. <laughs> the Dark Dungeon Lords. Bring the evil Cthulhu back to reality. No, Black Torrent or Black Leaf or whatever the fuck they call that switch. bitch. Uh, this one is kind of Leave a comment below if you know what the fuck he's talking about with spider summons, because I sure sell them. I don't know, Google it. That is true. Actually, I have the Wikia. It's even better. It looks actually really good on the other the scrolls of Elder. You do. Hello, man. You will know soon enough. Help me find my gear. I will reward you well. Mm, that's a good thing. Uh, uh, you're gonna be shit out of luck. I must destroy the skeleton. Because we will steal your gear. You've been oddly quiet. Hmm? It's cause she's Don't not just shake your head say things, talk. It's cause she's not a main character. Talk about how much you love me. Really? I'm just Don't make her lie to things. the people. <laughs> okay, then talk about how much you hate me. I can't do that. Because there's not much to say. I mean, that's just a universal following thing. Talk about how amazing I am in bed. <laughs> no, that's for you me. You talk about your nobody else can find out. You talk about your Lord and Savior, the Great Groysu Malin. I am the religion well, that all you don't want to talk about it and have other girls be like, "Oh, I need to get a piece of him." Hey, like, mm, God, you hear about that? That, uh, you. that their YouTube host who's a hmm? he's that there. I'm territorial. Okay. I know you are. I am too. <laughs> Picture her walking around with a fucking spear over a campfire, just like. <gasps> Why? Because she's fucking territorial. She's like protecting her territory and shit. Oh. I was like, ah, it's great. Killing. Yes. You're an asshole. Hundred percent. Uh huh. It's what I'm famous for. Of course. So I'm famous for it too. That is why people watch this show or listen. I'm pretty sure most people listen to this show. I doubt most of them pay attention to gameplay. I feel like some games people do. Yeah. Because Lord knows watching Cinderella escape is just a fucking waste of your time. Or you get to see titties. I mean, sure. But there's only so far yeah. titties can take you. And then, like, when we, uh... Agreed. Let us fight Yeah. And then, like, when we change outfits, like, when, when uh, we had the ball gag or Man. the blindfold or something, people might be like, I wonder what they're talking about. So then, like, they'll switch over and see. Mm. Eh. It's just not worth it. That game is a headache. Definitely. A headache is a good way to define that game. And the endings, oh my god. That's the headache. That that was hilarious. Yeah, no, I can't find anything on that spider thing, so... That's bothering me. I don't know, but I swear. Like, I'm not bullshitting. No, I mean, you probably did. Let me see here. Destruction, 10 items crashed. Very worse for you, man. I can that down. Ah, micro-dotting. There's a... There we go. I had no mods. I, don't, I scoured the internet. Literally, all I did was did the console command of all spells. I mean, like that's the only thing I can think is it's one of those cut spells that like just still existed in the debug menu. Oh, uh, maybe. Because I can tell you right now, I've done everything in that game, and that's not something I found. I'm I'm just down to you, but I mean. 
I don't know. I have found the depths of law in the Elder Scrolls. You could summon spiders in Oblivion. I remember that being a thing. Eh, maybe it was something left over, like an idea they wanted for Skyrim. Because uh, honestly, like they neutered the shit out of the spell system in that game. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a hundred fucking things they cut. It's a shame too. They wouldn't let you summon the frostbite spiders because they're too scary. They're yeah, all... and there's like one with the dragon. Actually, you're probably right because I remember the dragon being like really like, glitchy because it was, you know, it's a dragon. It's huge. And I mean, you can you can learn a thing where you can call a specific dragon, but it's not a spell. It's a shout, I think. Let's see, no, this was a spell. Yeah. yeah, like everything like that was a shout. Give me my yeah, I mean, it makes sense for the lore. Yeah. I mean, you are able to summon things too, like Conjuration. Like, you could summon Daedra and shit, and that's been a thing since all the games, so. Thank you for your Who knows? I will go with you on your hunt for the it's just one of those things that could have made Skyrim a better movie. If we find a better movie? Yeah. Honestly, I would watch the shit out of an Elder Scrolls movie. I don't even care if it's a Warcraft bad. That one, I would care. That one, I, oh, I'd be pissed as hell, but I'd still watch it. The Templar broke the stairs. Only a Templar can mm. cure the stair plague. Yeah, and then make help it, him fight the Skeleton King. And then make it best movie. I don't know why that's been stuck in my head for so damn long. I don't know where it came from, but it's here forever. If, if they did it right, then I can see it working out well. But at the exact same time, I, I, I don't know. You know what the Elder Scrolls movie is called? Game of Thrones. I'm not fucking kidding. I'm not afraid that Danny's explanation of it was the best. When, you know, like, he heard about it but didn't know, and uh, mm -hmm. he already, you know, liked Lord of the Rings and et cetera, et cetera. And he was talking to one of his friends, and he was like, imagine Lord of the Rings but with tits. Basically. And then that's why he started watching it. <laughs> I've still, like, yet to see, like, a full episode of it. I don't know, man. I mean, have you seen Tally and his tits are amazing? Uh, I've seen <laughs> clips, and yeah. it seems, I don't know, all right, but it doesn't seem like... My beloved king. I honestly yeah, believe it's a show I would enjoy. I, I do not have the patience to invest in something that large. This is just, this is one of those get the pitchforks and everything ready, which we tend to say shit like that all the time. But it's like it's so boring. Like the parts, I will say the that parts I watched. Yeah, it, it's one of those that I genuinely feel like if I could sit down and watch like three or four episodes, I'd probably be yeah, enthralled yeah. with. Yeah, but at the same here. time, I do not have the patience for it. I just don't. Well, actually, I do have the patience for it. I mean, I watch yeah. TV shows like that. That I mean, long it's, season. You know me. I don't like those shows that are like drag on for hundreds of episodes. Why I won't watch Naruto, and I'm like, I only deal with Dragon Ball Super because I've already gotten started. <laughs> it's like, I know it's going to end up as long as one of those things. I'm like, fuck it, I'm already here, I've been keeping up, I don't care. That and Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is the only one that gets a pass in my mind. What, not Dragon Ball Z? It's just a franchise. It's, it's the reason I'm into anime. I won't lie, that's the one that got me going. So... It, it deserves its pass. I owe it. That's it. I owe it a favor. <laughs> I think a lot of people's excuse is that. Like, they either are just obsessed with it, or they just know it's the reason they're in anime. If you're in anime. What was your first anime, Amanda? Craig Mosey. Watch it. Akira. Death Note. What did you mean? Huh? You said Kira. Akira. Oh, okay. I thought you said Kira, and I was like, you mean Death Note? Uh, it was, uh, what's that thing? How the Howling Castle? Uh, mine was, uh, the ripoff of Power Rangers. I already forgot what it's called. Oh, the Beetleborgs? No. Hmm. Well, That's yeah. not anime. True. And I love the Beetleborgs. Yeah, but they are a ripoff of Power Rangers. Yeah. That's why I jumped to it. No, it's anime, uh, Zoids. Oh, Zoids. That's the first one you watched? Huh. Yeah. Weird. Would not have been my guess. Don't get me wrong, I loved slash hated Zoids. Yeah. I love Zoids yeah, because Zoids. it's great, and I hated it because it's garbage. 
It is one of the worst fucking animes right. in the world, and I Literally. fucking love it. And it was like, and then I got introduced to like Dragon Ball Z and Gundam around the same time. And then I got introduced to Kenshin and Yu Yu Hakusho around the same time. I had a dad who grew up in Japan, so I was exposed to it from the beginning. I <laughs> just kind of like, I didn't start watching it myself to Toonami come around. So I was like, fuck, Cowboy Bebop was probably the first one I actually watched. Like, you know, like fully. What's your favorite anime, Amanda? One Piece. One Piece. Yeah, I'm completely indifferent to One Piece myself. My favorite anime is still Speed Crapper. That's not going away anytime soon. That shit was so fucking good. Yeah, everyone knows mine. Really good to me. It wasn't the, uh, the, the, uh, the life of Susan and Harmony. Mm-hmm. Or the, uh, the old high school club host. Oh, hell no. Oh, <laughs> Man, oh, no. you told me. <laughs> hell no. no. No, he knows I actually like Slice of Life Oh, I got him so good with that shit one. shit like that. Mm. He, he knows I like shit like that, like playing ad and, you know, shit like that. When deep so, down you find out I am a diabolical, horrible person. And he told me, he was like, you might like, he's like, it does, which, you know, girly anime or girly movies, whatever, it doesn't bother me. I hate the notebook, but, you know, but it's like... That's subjective. Yeah, that one is subjective. Yeah, like, I've watched girly movies and liked them. I mean, I, hell, I've even cried over some of them. I don't care. Yeah. I like drama. I like drama shit. So, anyways, he told me that, and he's like, it kind of looks girly. He's like, but you'll like it. First episode, I was like, I am going to kill Dylan. <laughs> I was like, this is pure... Like, okay, whatever. Someone, I will give like, that show a bit of credit like, that it has its moments. Yeah, it does have its moments it of being funny. But it's like, okay, yeah, they... It, 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 there's a little bit of comedy uh, I understand but you can definitely tell this is like this is made for no one for females this is made that, for no one th- this is made for females that like uh, yeah you know boy love Sarah yeah. if you're watching this I'm sure you've already watched or in high school but go watch it <laughs> you know, like, that's what it was made for. And I, I don't have a problem if they're, you know, gay people, whatever. I've watched, hell, there's a new anime out called uh, Yuri on Ice. Oh, yeah, I remember And that. it actually looks really good. And, yeah, it's about two guys, and they're both gay, and one's a ice ring skater or whatever. Do you remember that, uh, the remember? House of the Dead anime chick game? The one that got kind of popular? High School of the Dead? No, 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 no. The one that's like fucking... It's just a shooter game, but it's like you shoot anime chicks. And like you strip them. Like, oh, you know, the one where yeah, you make them fall in love with them. Gun, yeah. That is that. That is that anime. That is that game turned into an anime. <laughs> I actually saw like the characters from it, and I was like, holy shit, that's the same characters. So unless they just took the models and ripped them into an anime, that's the same shit. <laughs> I don't know the story behind it, so I could be wrong, but they look the fucking same. But, uh... Like, they even have that little girl with a mask in it, and I was like, the fuck? I totally forgot that I was talking about. Oh, and, but, like, you know, homosexual, whatever, I don't care. I was like, hell, like, that anime actually looks really good. The animation looks good, the story sounds interesting. Like, when he uh, he's skating on ice, it looks freaking, like, beautiful, it looks amazing. So, like, I'm going to pick that up and watch it. I don't care about, you know, homosexuality or any of that shit. But know, to be fair, there's game. only three anime you ever need to watch. That's Excel Saga, that's Needless, and then that's Dragon Ball And one that teaches Dylan to not interrupt me. That doesn't exist and never will. But, uh... Crush your dreams now. It was like, or in high school, it was like, they just shoved the gayness down your throat. <laughs> they're, they're just like, this is gay. We're gay. Be gay I'm with super. us. Thanks for asking. It was basically that shit immediately. I was like, oh my god. I'm like, I don't care. I was like, leave me alone, please. Yeah. Okay, this way. They're trying to make me one of them, and then I'll be next. Yes. Oh my god. This just cuts like, to trolls, too. Like, on uh, the internet, I've seen, like, clips and stuff of it that's funny and everything, mm-hmm. but it's just like, I, I can't sit around and no, watch no, no, three episodes to get to, like, an episode that has, like, a two-minute clip that's funny. The only reason I know as much about it as I do is because I have four sisters who I lived with. 
And that kind of scarred me emotionally. Fuck that anime. So I show it to everyone. <laughs> as a way to... Uh, it's solace. It's a way of like... Bastard. <laughs> it's like, hi, are you into anime? I'm gonna make you not into anime now. What anime scarred you? Amanda. Boku no Pico, you uh, motherfucker. <laughs> or on high school. I didn't think I could dislike an anime. Yeah. Boku no Pico. Well, Boku no Pico is technically a hentai, but yeah. That, I, I went a little weeb there, I know, but yeah. That, that, that's, that is enough. That is child porn. El Super Bisto did not scar me as much as that shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Have you seen El Super Bisto? Oh my Actually, God. I feel like it, we should at the it's same time. It's really good, but no, it's, it's like it's one of those like you don't feel right. you feel dirty after watching. Yeah, it. like but it's good. It's yeah. like it's worth a fucking watch once. Yeah, like, it's a really good movie, but after you're done, it's like I need to take a shower. I need to be like cleansed by a priest. Yep. Somebody call the Smexorcist. Now, Ghost Stories, on the other hand, yeah. that was the other one that I actually meant to say and forgot the name of. That's an oh anime everyone God. should watch forever. Yes. They need a sequel to that. There It'll never happen. It'll never happen, but yes. That anime I will actually happen. say that we should watch a couple episodes after we're done recording. Probably my next paycheck, I'm probably going to buy that anime. You should buy the Japanese version, too, just so we know. You, you, you I, do know whenever you, know, you buy an English one... Oh, it just has the it, Japanese. It has the Japanese version. Yeah, but would it be subtitled? Because like you yes, think they know. Yes, it will be subtitled. Well, it's like I feel like if it was subtitled, it'd be like the dub subtitles. So like, uh, no, I actually okay. remember reading this and that. Uh, it okay, had, so it's it, just both in one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because like I think it actually has both. Like it has the Japanese subtitles of the. Of the, you know, the English okay. dub, and then there's the... The actual script? Yeah. Oh. Okay, we'll have to sit down and watch that at some point, just to know. Because I'm like, I'm too curious. It is bloody hilarious. Yeah. I love that. Have you ever wanted to see Scooby-Doo on meth fighting demons? Kind of, yeah. With well, the, we're going to be with, watching that after this. With the talking cat. Oh my. Here we are. A talking like, Satan cat. Oh yeah, he's a demon. Yeah, replace oh. Scooby with an omnipotent demigod demon, and that's what you got. Yeah, oh okay. yeah, and a huh. girl who's completely, like, believe in Jesus or you're burning in hell. Oh, I forgot about her. I love her. She's, like, one of my favorite characters. She is the messiah in Satan form. Yeah, where the fuck do we go? Down there. Okay. The only other path left. It's a little bit of a maze. Leave me alone. A midget. God damn, die. Hey. It's the Leaving them alive annoys me. It's the gremlins. They're after your, your uh, treasure. And you don't want to leave them alive to take your gold? Yeah. Well, we're going to get where we need to go. And then... See y'all next time.